What's up guys, it's Josh here. I'm here with Coach James and we're about to go over this week's Simple and Sinister Err workout for this week. Okay, for Simple and Sinister Err, we're going 40 seconds work, 20 seconds to rotate. We're busting our butts at every single station because that's where the results come from. Right, James? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You ready, James? Yeah. Okay, so we got six stations here, 40 seconds of work. Station number one, we're going way with that squat. Get those hands going as quickly as you can. Nobody goes faster than James on those ropes. Nobody goes faster. <laughs> Keep them going, James. Show them what's about. Hands fast, like fast, 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 fast. We're going real time today, folks. 40 seconds. You got 20 seconds left, James. You got 20 seconds left, James. I got stuff to do. Let's rotate. Okay, from there, we're coming over to the suspension trainers. We're going to work on our single arm row. So you want to take the slack out of that trainer so you don't fall back here. And then chest up, shoulders are parallel to the floor as you go down, squeezing those glutes nice and tight, pulling that hand right towards your rib and armpit here. What you're going to do is you're going to go five on one side, then we're going to switch and go five on the other because 40 seconds is a long time on one arm. So five and five, back and forth. If you don't feel comfortable doing the single arm rows, you can grab both handles and just do the two-handed row for that 45 seconds. From there, we're coming out to the blue floor, or for the 40 seconds, 40 seconds. From there, we're coming out to the blue floor, and we're gonna square crawl. So find some space on the floor. Now you're gonna go two steps to the side, two steps forward, two steps back to the side, two steps back. So you're just gonna keep moving in that square, keep those knees close to the floor, go as slow as you can, you're gonna really challenge yourself. And if you need to, you can take your knees down to the floor for a second, catch your breath, come back up, or you can just hold that plank position as well if you feel comfortable doing that. From there, we're coming over to the bags. We're gonna do our bag clean and squat here. So, arch that lower back, chest up, yank that bag up to the biceps, deep breath in all the way down, and then push that air out as you drive back up. So two movements here. Clean it, squat it, then take it back down to the floor, Pace yourself, take those extra breaths between reps as you're going here, because 40 seconds is a lot of time to get those squats in. From there, we're heading over to the rowers. Our goal in the rowers is gonna be somewhere between 150 and 300 meters in that 40 seconds. Yes, those are big goals. That's okay, it's nice to have some goals to work toward. Drive through those heels, squeeze those shoulder blades, push that air out as you're pulling those handles right towards your chest here, again, Think about power and intention here, not speed. Don't try to go fast. Pull as hard as you can and you will move faster. From there, we're moving over to our last station. That's our dumbbell station. We're gonna do our dumbbell Arnold presses. So, both hands together, palms facing you. You're gonna open up, squeeze those shoulder blades, then press high overhead, pull them back down, bring them back in. Again, we open up by squeezing, press all the way to the ceiling, pull them back down, and then close it back up here. Challenge yourself with that weight. If you're struggling here to get those presses in, you can add a little bit of that push in if you need to, or just go lighter with those dumbbells. You have plenty of time to switch the weight and get something that's gonna allow you to get the most reps in that you possibly can. Okay, that's our simple sinister workout for this week. Great job.